Hey everyone, what's up? So this is my DIY game controller. It uses an Arduino Pro Micro which runs with the HID function. This is actually the second version of my previous game controller which had buttons but this one have two joysticks. Unlike the previous version, this one runs on the joystick library which converts this Pro Micro into a proper gamepad controller. Fun fact, this controller can also run retro games like Doom and Donkey Kong by hooking it up with a retro pie or a recal pie setup. More about that later. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can build your own game controller in few easy steps. So without any further ado, let's get started. These are the things that I used for this project. Custom PCB, switches, vertical switches, analog joysticks, a pro micro and female header pin. The previous controller that I made was completely DIY. Here's the schematic of the previous project. I designed its PCB layout and printed the top layer on a glossy paper and then etched the board by tone transfer method. That controller did work but it had many flaws like the responding time was not good and its code was not based on the joystick library. Also it didn't have joysticks. So to improve the previous setup, I prepared a PCB which was similar to the old design. I added joysticks and made this cool looking sill screen on the board which resembles Pac-Man and then gave this PCB to JLC PCB for samples. And after receiving the PCB, I started the assembly process. The assembly process of this board is pretty easy. We just need to add switches and joystick to the setup as this PCB doesn't have any SMD component, which makes this project easy to make. Here's the first mistake of the PCB. I forgot to add mounting holes for the joystick in the PCB. So I just drill holes manually with a 1.5 mm drill bit. Also, here's another mistake I did. I placed this vertical switch in an inverted position, but the actual position was supposed to be this. So I drilled hole in the PCB and then added the switch in the right order. After adding the component, I soldered each of their pad and the project was pretty much completed. Only the hardware part. This controller need a little software tweak. So here's the main code of this project, which you can download from this project's page. Link is in video description. Plug the controller to your computer. Select the right board, which is the Arduino Pro Micro. Select the right COM port and hit upload. After this, open the device in printer. You will see your Arduino Micro with this gamepad icon. Click on it and open its property. And you will see the gamepad button layout. Now just press any button or move the joystick. You will see the button number which we have declared in the sketch. There are two joysticks in this setup, one for movement and one for X and Y. You can move the joystick and see whether the setup is working or not. After checking each button, we can now plug this game controller into our gaming rig and start our gaming spree. Now, this setup does work without any tweak with most of the stuff. For example, I plug this onto my RecalPy setup to play some retro games. I configure each key in the RecalPy setting and controller work without an issue. Here's me playing Doom on RecalPy with this custom controller. And here's me playing Donkey Kong. Now I wanted to play GTA 5 with this controller, but unfortunately the GTA 5 supports Xbox 360 controller. So this controller didn't work by default in GTA 5. But I found this awesome Xbox emulator and because of this I was able to connect my DIY controller with GTA 5 without any hassle. 
I first downloaded the software and then extracted it in the GTA 5 folder which is located in the C drive. After this I opened the software and mapped the controller keys according to the Xbox 360 layout and hit save button and after button mapping I close this software and then open GTA 5 and guess what. For improving this project, I will prepare a third PCB which will have more buttons and possibly an ESP32 board. Why ESP32? I found this library which uses the BLE function of ESP32 to connect it with any computer as an HID gamepad. I hope this video was helpful to you guys. If yes, then do not forget to hit the subscribe button. Huge thanks to JLC PCB for supporting this project. Check them out if you need great PCB service for less cost. And I'll see you guys with the next video. Peace out.